figured I'd shoot a little video here of what I'm gonna have for my bushcraft axe. It's a little True Temper Tommy axe. It's had the nail puller ground off at some point. I picked it up from a guy for about five bucks. And I got a 16 inch American Hickory handle that I'm gonna replace it with. So I figure I'm gonna clean this up and Handle her and get her sharp. The old handle out. A little hammer and punch. Yeah, now that we got most of the rust off here, it's looking pretty decent. I don't believe in making it, you know, mirror shiny or anything like that because it's going to be for use. Just use one of these little uh, sanding blocks here. I picked up from a hardware store a while back. Works pretty good. Uh, do a little bit of filing in some spots to take out some dings, like right there. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. Then we'll uh, start getting the handle done. There, you got those dings out nice. Let's move on to some other areas now. Nice and smooth there. You can see just how rough it is back here where they ground off the nail puller. So we're trying to flatten it down and make it a little nicer. Alrighty. It's all flat now. Took out all the nastiness. Gonna clean up the edges of the pole a little bit here. Pretty good dings in it. Yeah, she's getting there. It's much flatter and much better than it was. I'm not shooting for perfect. Like I said, I plan on using this thing quite a bit, so I just want to smooth it out and get it to where it's decent. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Coil's pretty clean. Top and bottom are nice and smooth. I mean, you can see the file marks, of course, because I'm doing this all by hand. No more mushrooming and pull. All the edges are nice and rounded and smooth. So I might try to clean up a little bit of the pitting, but then that'll move on to the handle. So it turns out cleaning up the head is the easy part. I got quite a bit to go to get that to fit in there. That's okay. I'm just going to take some time, some effort, using a good old uh, rasp here. No power tools, just by hand. After what felt like forever, with that rasp, I finally got it to where it started. So we'll see if I can uh, start working her on there more and then get her fully shaped. Yep, got her fitted up. You see, it's got a good tight fit where it rolled the wood. Comes up the top, but I can't get a wedge in that, so I'm gonna have to take it back off and uh, widen up that gap a little bit. And then finish sand the handle and get some oil on there and. Get her sharpened up. Should be good to go. Alrighty, and there she is. She's all handled up. The wedge in. Just gotta let that glue dry. Once that glue dries, trim that stub off there. Get her finished sanded and coated in oil. And sharpen her up because that edge has uh, seen better days. It's butter knife dull. Time to get this wood trimmed off here so I can get this finished up. Yeah, got that cleaned up, cut off nice and flush, sanded it a little bit. Now to finish sand the handle. And that is nice and smooth. Gonna work on the edge a little bit on some sandpaper here. Just got some 220 grit, just gonna try to get a uh, somewhat of an edge back on the uh, blade. And then eventually I'll move up in grits and go to a stone and whatnot to get it sharp. Alrighty, it's got a little, little bit of an edge on it now. Nothing crazy. It has a bevel at least and somewhat there. And the last thing I'm gonna do is throw some gloves on so I can fully sand this smooth, clean it up, and then I'll uh, throw some oil on there. I've got teak oil is what I'm gonna put on it. Should work pretty good. Should look decent too. Just gotta go through a couple grits of sandpaper and then I'll be ready. 
And there she is, sanded down to 320. Pretty smooth. Once again, not going for absolute perfection. It's going to be a tool that I use a lot. It's going to get beat up. Just want it to be not splintery and decent looking. Okay, here it is after the first coat. It's going to sit for a few minutes and we'll put another coat on there and let her sit and then we'll wipe her all down and it'll be done. Ready for sharpening. Now we got the last coat on. It's got to sit for about 20 minutes and we'll wipe it off. And then we'll be ready for final sharpening. Be all done. Okay, there she is. All wiped down. Fully coated with the teak oil. the bevel. Wedge. Now she's got to sit. Tico says six to eight hours. So once it sits, then I will do the final sharpening. Next video see will be the finished product. Well, here she is, completed. Nice and smooth, all finished good. You shave with it, so that's a little sharp. Didn't intentionally get it that sharp, but it still has a good convex edge to it. Uh, can't really focus on that, but it's got a good apple seed convex edge. Oiled up the head a little bit, so that way it doesn't rust. And uh, she's good to go. Now I just gotta make a collar and a mask for it when I get some leather. I'd say it splits pretty well. I think she's good to go.